Seeing more people walk in the doors asking for the vaccine, just hoping to protect themselves as the virus sweeps across Arkansas. Our Jessica Rank joining us now live in studio. Jessica, you talked to a pharmacy owner in West Little Rock. What'd they have to say? Yeah, I did, Hunter. Well, the owner over at the drugstore says his vaccine numbers have almost tripled in the last couple of weeks. He says people are trying to find a way to protect themselves from the virus. And for those who've already gotten that vaccine, that also means masking up once again. Sean and Erica Ryan are spending their Saturday afternoon in the park, surrounded by a small group of friends. We've just stuck with what we've had. The Little Rock couple says in the last year they've tried to remain cautious, limiting the time they spend with others. And more than a year into the pandemic, they say now... I mean, I'm already used to wearing it from like the year before. ...is not a time to change their ways. Whether I'm vaccinated or not, it's better to take caution. Erica and Sean have an 11-year-old daughter. We just want to prevent it because... We don't want her to get sick. They say despite being vaccinated, they're still doing what they can to cover their backs and their noses. When we go to grocery stores or go shopping, we all we wear our masks inside. Saturday, the state of Arkansas reported more than 2,000 new cases in one day, the biggest jump since February. One Little Rock pharmacist says the uptick is having a direct impact on the number of people rolling up their sleeves. Some are just ready to get it. Philip Judd is a pharmacist over at the drugstore. He says he's now vaccinating about 30 people per day. I think we're up two to three times from where we were. That's compared to just a few weeks ago when he says it was hard just getting five people in the door. The big spike, the big increase, I think uh, it's a en strong encouragement for people to get the vaccine. Erica and Sean are protected in more ways than one, but want to make sure they still do their part. We can still be carriers to protect others in Little Rock. Now, Judge says the last time he saw vaccination rates this high was in, in his store was back in January or February. Live in studio, I'm Jessica Rank for KARK4 News. Hunter. Encouraging to